Yan Amogella Gung Oboyami bombed Abra Dad bombed Abra Goko bombed Abra and bombed Abra Gassisi. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please follow your sister. I don't know why I'm not singing that part. I don't know. Maybe it's because of like the subject matter, the topic, everything concocted into one, you know. Talking about the loss of Oba Patrick Shine and Owami made a video and how she had reported the loss of this amazing giant big tree is what um sparked the conversation because in her video there were comments that were made regarding people um that live in Santon and and um Dobsonville. So she had said um and I'm paraphrasing that if given a choice, she would rather die in Santon because in Uba, um, it, it was speculated that Uba Petrushai had passed on his garage at Dobsonville in Soweto, which, um, first of all, people that live in Soweto, I live in Soweto, I currently reside in a Soweto by choice, you know, and I'm happy with that. And I don't see myself leaving in Soweto anytime soon. Even when I officially buy my house, it's going to be in Soweto because Soweto has amazing places. Dobsonville in itself is an amazing place. People aspire to live at Dobsonville because of the way Dobsonville is. Your Protea North, your Diplof extensions. Soweto has amazing places. In as much as every place in the world has horrible places and amazing places everywhere you're going to hear gunshots whether it's sent in it's wherever you get robbed that's the matter as long as you're in south africa you are not safe even in your high security building in cape town you are not safe this is south africa you know so people took offense to the comments that were made by oami because they felt it was insensitive and the timing of it all you know so oami released another video saying that she is apologizing because that's not how she meant for her comments to come out ne? but still in the video still it was not giving apology it was giving more of justification of why she said what she said so it ended up in her apologizing on her comment section and pinning the post because um, the video was 32 minutes long and it was um, only in the beginning of the video where the apology was and everything else was her explaining why she said what she said and why she didn't mean what she meant. Now, as someone that stays in Isoweto, I did take offense, guys. Because even if that's not how you meant it, but to us, it felt like it's classism, you know? Like, it did come off as classism. Yo, my daughter is crying. Yee. <sighs> it did feel as if it's um, classism, you know? And I can imagine what um, the Shai family, like, would feel if they had to, like, Here's something like that, you know. In as much as they say that in the entertainment industry, in the arts, people are not getting enough money for their hard work, you know. But sometimes people live in certain places and locations out of choice, you know. And they, I would rather someone buys a house where they can afford to buy a house so that when now things get dark, their family is not left destitute, all in the name of luxury and uh, you know, at the end of the day we are not in that person's pockets, we can never speculate their financial affairs and we can never know for sure but it's Soweto guys, it's Soweto I, I promise you, Soweto has developed, I'm not even going to say it's developing, it has developed it's an amazing place to live in, okay? Depending on where you are, Soweto, you know? And obviously, I can understand also 
why people took offense and felt like those comments were insensitive because you are reporting on the death of someone you know Oguti, they are financial standing. I ain't gaining that at that point in time. There is timing for everything. Maybe there should have been a separate video, you know, a different video discussing the payment, the entertainment industry, and how people in the entertainment industry are not paid enough. And I'm going to say this. It's like every time I, when I'm, I talk about Owami or there's something that you guys want um, me to speak on regarding Owami. You will always have that thing with that notion of I'm sucking up or Nyamnenga or Owami. First of all, I am my own boss. I, I'm, I made my own self. I'm grateful that Owami had sent um, some people. Um, to my channel when she made a video about me i'm grateful for that but everything on this platform i i from scratch made it myself you know i respect her as my colleague as much as i respect every other youtuber that i talk about here on my platform and i will you know my content is not malicious it, it will never be mal malicious you know because i respect the people that are on this platform because I know how hard it is to make it on this platform. You know, I am not afraid of Oami. I, I am not begging her for anything because she's my colleague. And I would hope she has the same mutual respect for me in as much as I have a mutual respect for her. And if I do anything wrong on this platform, I expect for her to do the same and call me out on it. Because at the end of the day, we are only but human and we can never always really say the right thing at the right time when people want us to say it, you know? And shout out to the people on her comments because they were so adult about things and so mature about things because they were calling her out, but in a, in a respectable manner, you know? And also, not everyone is out to get us, I understand. And we need to be teachable as content creators. Because at the end of the day, we didn't go, okay, some of us didn't go to journalism school, reporting school, and on Tony, what, what. So we don't never know the right way to sometimes handle such matters. And this is an opportunity to be teachable and accept and account more than anything. Account. If you are going to apologize for doing something, apologize unequivocally, unreservedly without any justifications because once an apology has a but it's over it, it's game down you know you can't spend the first three minutes apologizing and the rest explaining why you're apologizing and what you meant to say because when it comes across to that person it seems like you are gaslighting um justifying and that's the oh that's always um the, the the notion that you don't want to go with so when you apologize apologize unreservedly unequivocally you know you don't have to be favorable all the time and that's what i am learning you don't have to be favorable all the time and you should always be we should always be open to hearing what other people think and what other people say obviously con that's why they call it constructive criticism it's not nice to hear but it helps with improvement I need to end us. So yeah, man, that's all I wanted to come out here and say. And we can discuss this more in the comment section down below. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>